What's happening, people? It is Wednesday night. We've got one minute of injury time left in this game. And it's been the most pathetic, pathetic 90 minutes of football. From Tottenham Hotspur, like I think, I I mean, I don't even know where to begin. I don't even know where to begin. What I am going to be doing is putting the uh, link up, anyone who wants to come on and get whatever they want to get off their chest is welcome to. Let me get into my comment section. Uh, before I do that, let me just run the intro so I can go and make a cup of tea. This is Tottenham Hotspur. This is the Spurs talk show. <laughs> and uh, unless something happens in 25 seconds, last chance. Last chance. Let's see what's going on here. Sonny, another absolutely shambolic performance with him today. Pathetic. Who's that? Ben Davies falling over, looking for something. Nothing going to happen here whatsoever. Milan chance to break. That's it. Game over. Tottenham are out. What a pathetic, absolute shambles of a show. I'm going to start the... Uh, Start the ball rolling. Put the intro in. I'll be back in. Uh, I'll see you in two minutes. Check this out. How you doing, guys? How you doing? Let me bring let me bring some people in. If you want to come in, the link is in the description. Never seen such an absolutely embarrassing performance. It's the last embarrassing performance. Let's get straight into it. Mia, welcome to the show. How are you? Daniel Larson, welcome to the show. How you doing, guys? You okay? Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> oh, I, mean, I, I can't take it. I can't take it anymore. It's I embarrassing. Can't, I can't do this. It's I can't embarrassing. Do this. It's like it's 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 like the club. The club is a joke. The club is a joke. The decisions were a joke. The substitutions, the tactics, the effort. Three games on the bounce. It should we just been exposed once again for how absolutely atrocious our football club, the players, the energy, the effort, the 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 synchronicity, all of it. It's an absolute fucking, fucking shambles. Everything needs to go. I'll start with you, Dan, and then I'll come to me. I'll give us your thoughts, and I'll, I'll bring up some stats, and we can go through everything. And by the way, guys, yeah. welcome, 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 everyone in the comments. I'll, 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 I'll bring up the comments in a second. If you do want to come on and join us, uh, the link is there. Um, oh, Dan, Dan's just popped out yeah. here. Oh, no, sorry, Dan is there. Dan, you disappeared for a second. You went down. Uh, no, yes. <laughs> no, no, no. Sorry. Uh, no, I just don't know where to start. I mean, no fight. Can't get even get up for a goddamn Champions League game. Where's the motivation? They don't have any. I mean, I don't know what they're doing. 
in this like it was there's no there's no I don't even have the words anymore but there's no emotions they're just empty vessels at this point N- nobody mean, seems to it seems to be playing for comp I, I don't know anymore That's I think that we're going to go through it right for, for me personally I think that the formation was terrible Mia um how are you feeling what what's what's your initial um initial thoughts on this one are you angry are you sad are you um, uh, where, where are you yeah. I'm more I'm more angry that the players aren't getting up for a game like this. Do you know when we played against when we won against City? I know it was a bit of like a, a fluky, maybe it was offside. We didn't know it was offside when the goal was scored. But with Ajax, we showed different fire. In that that year, we showed something different. This year, the Champions League just didn't get give me that feeling. Like I never thought that we were really fighting for it. It was like we were just there to be there. It was just like, yay, we're here. That's what it felt like. It really did just feel like we were there just to be there. And this time we can't say that it is the defenders because we didn't concede the goal. Say our front, our strikers are just are not doing it, man. They're just not. No matter who we bring on, it just seems to not work. I don't know what is going on with them, but they're just not firing at all. They just look dejected, like they don't want to be there, like they can't be bothered. Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna put I'm gonna put a a poll up there right now for everyone to get involved with. Who is responsible for tonight's absolute shit show? Is it the players? Is it Conte? Is it? How do I add an extra? Can you only can you only put? Oh no, add an option. There you go. Is it Levy, or is it every bastard? <laughs> Can't He's put got- Levy for this. It's got to be every. It's got to be right. The players have to take responsibility because they're the ones that cross that line. But Conte ultimately chooses how we play. So when he brings on Sanchez for when we need to score a goal, I know we've just got a man down. But I'd rather, I'd rather we lose four nil and oh, try. I'd rather we great. lose four nil and try than to bloody well just put Sanchez. Oh my God, Sanchez! Just why? Do you know that, what I'm that saying? Last just substitution, why? That last substitution for me was the last straw of mm-hmm. a manager that I think he literally wanted to protect us from being embarrassed rather than going for it. You got ten minutes left in the fuck, fifteen minutes left in the fucking game. You need to score at least one just to just to get yourself on level playing field. You need to score two to get through or take it to penalties, and you take off someone. Who's, our, who's probably one of the better players in the second half. In the first half, I thought he was absolutely useless, Decky. But in the second half, I thought he yeah. at least, was at least busy. He was at least trying, which is more than you can say for that absolute fucking idiot on the left-hand side, Sonny, who, oh, to me, God. is like, I don't know what's out of me. We say it every week, week in, week out. Like, he he, he is just... If, if you didn't... If you'd never seen him before this season and you've been sleeping under a rock and he was brought in and you said, oh, this is your new signing, Hume Min Son, and you were just judging him on this season... You'd be saying he's the worst player in the fucking team. You'd be saying he's a ten minute, yeah. he's, he's championship level. He's absolutely you know, awful. Joe, you know what problem is, Sean, is that too many people go judging players on instead of individual games that they play, they judge them on the past. I don't care if how many goals you scored for me last season. I don't give a damn. I want you to score goals this season. Sorry, yeah. but mm-hmm. I don't care. What have you done for me lately? Yeah, yeah, yeah the, past is the, the past is the past. You know it's exactly. About now. Exactly. It's about the here and now. So I judge players on a game-to-game basis. Every player, including Kane, and people might not like it because he's done a lot for us, but I still judge him because that's how you should do it. Every game, every individual needs to turn up. And if they don't, I don't give a damn what you've done for me in the past. I want you to win me this game here and now. Because you put that shirt on and you represent me because I'm a fan, regardless whether you're here or not. So I'm a fan and you should put that shirt on and have the pride and play for us. I don't care because we're the uh, fans that are there through thick and thin. I'm with you. I'm with you. Mark Ivey's making mm-hmm. a really interesting point here. <laughs> Which will be the last <laughs> Champions League we see for a long fucking time. You're right, Mark. And big up to you, my man. Big up to everyone in the chat. There's, lo- there's so many of you that are flying in right now. So uh, I-, I haven't had a chance to say, but welcome everybody. If anyone wants to come on and, and get vent, you can vent. The-, the-, uh, the link is there. I was supposed to be having a couple of weeks off of streaming. I wasn't going to do any live streams, any watch longs. I was just going to do my Tottenham walks. But after that one, I thought I just want to get on for five, uh, for half an hour, an hour, see how long we go, and then just uh, and go through it. Look, let's start with the let's let's start with the um, 
with the with the starting lineup, right? Let's start before we get into the actual game. Were were either of you surprised by the starting lineup? Were you were, uh, were you happy? Were you was it basically kind of a fait accompli because of not having any ability to play Eric Dyer? It forced our hand with Ben Davies playing on the left and you know Longley in the middle, and then obviously without having Cessnyon, you have to play Perisic. So was there any other was there any changes that you would have you would have liked to have seen, or were you basically okay with the with the three five or the the, the three four three? Start with you, uh, Dan. Well, I, I didn't know that the Dyer was going to be out, so I was surprised to not see him. Um, uh, uh, Perisic on the left, you know, uh, he's he's gone, you know, he's lost it. So I won't see Davis there. He's been good there, you know. So um, other than that, I would I would rather see Richie instead of Son as well, or or Danjuma again. Danjuma, what the fuck was the point of that signing? Jesus Christ. Haven't given the, the, haven't, haven't given the, the guy a fucking chance. He scores on yeah. his debut, and then we see we see him for three minutes after that. It's like Jed Spence biggest, Mark Two, isn't it? Hundred percent, biggest waste of time. So, uh, other than that, not really surprised for the team. But yeah. before I come to you, Mia, uh, just want to shout out as a couple of uh, new members. Uh, that have joined the show. So amazing. Thanks very much. I wasn't expecting any, any of those things tonight. I wasn't expecting any generosity or support for, but apart from the, the lovely people in the comments, of course. But Donovan Osterreicher has become a YouTube member. Massive, massive thank you to you, my man. I really appreciate that. As has... Uh, where is he? Brad Harris. Brad Harris. Hairs. Brad Hairs. I'm going to go with Hairs. Um, mate, thank you so much, guys. Really appreciate both of you. Really appreciate everybody else. I'm, I'm going to be going through this... Uh, through these comments right now, everyone is absolutely fucking fuming. <laughs> Mia, were you okay with the uh, with the starting eleven uh, before the game? Um, was there any changes you wanted to see happen before that before the shit show unraveled? So I predicted that would be the lineup, barring Sonny. Like I wouldn't have played Son. I said I wanted either Dan Juma or Richie. To be honest with you, um, I said that this morning on my live. I said no, nah, I don't want Sonny to play. But obviously, I don't make those choices, and Sonny did play, so there's nothing I can do. But I didn't yeah. want him to play, to be honest. And I knew because of Dyer being out, we couldn't play Davies in the position I preferred him to be in. So again, it was something that we were out of control of because we didn't have Dyer. So I yeah. was expecting that lineup. If I'm completely honest, I did. I think I pretty much predicted that lineup. Like I say, barring a Sonny uh, is the only one. I think I didn't say. I said I wanted Dan Juma or Vichy. Yeah, yeah. All right. Okay. Well, yeah. I, I thought I thought the, that this was the exact lineup that I picked. I, it wasn't the lineup that I wanted, but like you say. Um, it was the only one that was really making sense with uh, with Eric Dyer being out. And look, let's, let's go through. Like, for me, in the, the opening period, I thought that we were all so static. I don't know whether it was like the weather or what it was, or, you know, or, although it's just typical Tottenham just <laughs> moving. But if you like, there's no excuses. But the first 10 minutes, I thought we were like statues out there. Perisic, sloppy again. I want to take the opportunity Jesus. right now. Someone was asking, I forget who it was. Someone's saying, can we talk about the left-hand side? Like, has Pe is Perisic... Is there any rede redeeming characteristic of this player apart from you know the occasional set piece that even that's dried up? But like no. he's useless, isn't he? He's absolutely appalling. In the first couple of minutes, he he, he could have let the ball go out for play and didn't, and then got his pocket picked and could have given away a, a, a goal because of it. Similar sort of thing as what happened against I forget who it was now a few weeks back. But uh, I mean, Perisic is just absolutely atrocious, isn't he? Dan milk has gone stale, you know. If he was a horse, he would have been shot down by now. You, know? <laughs> you would. I mean, you would have put him down by now. Yeah, yeah. it's time to buy place after they're done, finished. Sadly. Yeah. Yeah. Which I didn't think was the. I, I was happy when we signed him. Didn't know he would have this much of a drop. But it, 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 it wasn't. He was great. Like in the World Cup, he was. He was really good. Like he, 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 you know, turned up for Croatia. I don't understand yeah, what yeah, don't. what it is about Tottenham <laughs> Hotspur. All of the players in our team can do it for their for their club uh, for their countries. They can, you know. I, I just don't, I don't get what the hell is going wrong at Tottenham Hotspur, but it's clearly like there's a poison, like a hoodoo, a voodoo that's kind of like that's just, that's just that's infecting the like the minds of all of the players. Every one of them tonight. I mean, well, I'm going to get the stats up in a second. Mia, who who was the worst player? I'll let you I'll let you take a free hit of this one. Who who was the player that's like it was? Did any of them stand out in the first half as being like 
I think probably Perisic is my worst player. Um, I actually did do a video again. I'm going to pick up my, my own channel here, but I did do a video a couple of days ago about Perisic and Ben Davies, and I said that I would not be playing Ben Day. Uh, Perisic anymore I would stick with Ben Davies in that position until the end of the season however today obviously was different because we didn't have Dyer but I just think he's he's just useless absolutely useless and I know none of them were good in that first half I could have gone to sleep in that first half I yeah. was so bored yeah. I swear I was yawning and I had my head down on the like on my arm on the sofa I was just like geez this is dull yeah, like it's, like, even, it's well, like I like what was just what was the point of us even like we didn't turn up for that first half we might as well just put statues on the pitch for that half like what was the point? I've got to ask you a question here because I made this point on my Tottenham walk this morning that you know there's definitely this kind of lacklustre vibe going through the fans at the moment and obviously you could tell right that the fans were up for it in the first five minutes yeah I think the loudest the loudest I heard the noise from the TV was before the game started. And then as soon as the game started, the players just didn't show up. And then the and then the crowd just like we just went to sleep as well, like you're saying, Mia. But to me, this time last season, we were in a fourth, we had fewer points in the league than we have right now. We were out of all the competitions like we are right now. And yet all the fans were bang up for a top four race. And I want to ask this question to both of you. And I want you guys all in the comments to give me your answer as well, because I really think it's an interesting point that Beyond72 is asking. He's like, I only care about fourth now if we sat Conte tonight. Right? Does, does it require for, for this season to have any kind of salvation, for, for people to get motivated again? Does it require some drastic action? And because you can't sack 25 players and because you can't force the ownership out, you know, do you have to go to the kind of the lowest common denominator and uh, and make a change? Does there have to be some sort of statement change here, Mia? I'll come to you first on this one. Um, I think, I think, yeah, I do think there needs to be a statement change. But I think this year, do you know why I think fourth isn't as much to us? It's because the scumbags at the top. I think that last yeah. season it meant more because we were fighting them for it. This season, it feels like it doesn't matter as much because we're not fighting them. And because they're top of the tree, I think that's made fans actually a lot more negative anyway. I think that was just, that's just added on to our negativity, you know? I do think that. And I don't know if they're going to get rid of Conte. I really don't. But they should, yeah. I think now I've got to that point where, oh, you know, that I've not really ever been Conte out. But the fact that he doesn't make these changes, it makes the ridiculous substitutions. I just think something needs to give. Something needs to change. Wow. Look, look at these comments. Yeah. Look at these comments. <laughs> Everyone I mean, is absolutely yeah, raising done, balls you know. to the lowest As point. We should be. Yeah. I mean, yeah well, yeah, well, everyone's completely within their rights. 244 people that are coming to join this uh, this morning wow. party. <laughs> <laughs> if you don't mind smashing the like button, guys, we really help get the numbers up on the channel. Uh, like I say, it was an impromptu one. I wasn't planning <laughs> on doing any streaming, but I thought, why not come on and let everyone uh, who wants to Tell me, tell us how you feel. And like I say, the the, uh, the link is pinned to the top. If you want to come on and scream Levy out or Conte out or Eric Dyer out, even though he wasn't playing tonight, <laughs> wherever you want to go with it, you're more than welcome to come and join me and myself and Daniel for as long as we're on here for. Uh, Dan, is it time? Are you? Where were you before? Mia, Mia wasn't Conte out, but now she's saying might be time for a change. How do you feel? You know, I've never really been Conte out either, but... Uh... Now I think it's time to just go. If we we're gonna have, I mean, I don't really care for top four anyway because it's not a trophy. I just I can't motivate myself to not uh, to, to get up for something that's not a trophy. But um, uh, yeah, it needs because how can the players be motivated now for the rest of the season if they're gonna be the same? If they can't get motivated now with him, how can they do it for the rest? And yeah. uh, but is it the same is gonna, stuff is going to happen. It's going to be the same. We're going to get someone new in, and then it's going to be good for a time, and then the same shit is going to happen again because the players are absolutely fucking wank, and they just lose mentality. And even if you do get, I mean, I don't want Europe in anyway because if we get Europa League as well, we're going to lose the fucking Azerbaijani fucking Slovenian team anyway <laughs> again. We would. Fuck. We probably this this yeah. shower of shit probably would. This shower of shit absolutely That's would. Take more fucking embarrassment. 
Oh. Donovan is uh, in the house. What's happening, Donovan? Uh, thank you very much for joining us, a member, my man. I think this is this the first time I've spoken to you. I, I believe it probably is. How are you? Good. Thanks for having me on, uh, Shani, and thanks for uh, taking time out of your day after that horrible shit show. Man, that was crazy. Yeah, no, no worries, no worries, my man, no worries at all. Thank you for, uh, thank, thank, like I say, I appreciate your uh, your time and, and your support as well. Uh, but before I let you come in on this one, I'm just going to bring another guy who wants to come and say hello, Alexander Manash. How are you doing, Alex? You okay, my man? I'm very well, Sean. I love your show. I oh, appreciate Woods, that, mate. Really, really good. I, it's just, I love your energy <laughs> and, uh, yeah, it's just brilliant content. And I like the fact that you have a quite a unique perspective. Oh, thank you very much, my man. I appreciate the feedback. It's uh, yeah, it's mainly Bugsy. It's mainly Bugsy. But, uh... Don't call him. Don't call him unique. He's going to get a big head now. For goodness sakes, people. <laughs> uh, let me let me start with um, Donovan. Donovan, take it wherever you want, my man. And then we'll come. I mean, then everyone can jump in and go and take it away. But then we'll come to Alex, and I'm going to bring in Phil. Phil, I'll say hello to you in a second. But I'll let Donovan Donovan crack on first. More, uh, evening, Phil. Donovan. Good evening. Where do you want to go with it, buddy? Hey, um, yeah, I don't know, man. Is it too early to be devil's advocate already? Um, no, no. I saw, no, I, I, what I saw a first half of like me. I said that was just absolutely brutal. Like, it, it got to me questioning myself as a fan. Like, I was like, wow, am I actually that disengaged where I'm bored and I'm yawning and I'm, I'm freaking zoning out? We can't create anything. Like, and and then I'm like, you know what? Second half Spurs are going to show up, and uh, you know what? That that be the case. And um, honestly, it was a bit of a uh, there's a bit of a recklessness from Romero there, personally. I'm not going to put the blame oh, yeah. on the let's, whole let's him. About, let's talk about him. Let's yeah, talk about, like, well, actually, I'll, I'll let you finish your point generally, and then we'll I'll, we'll swing back to Romero because that deserves a whole segment and then of itself. Yeah, yeah so on. um, that that just kind of summed up our whole mentality of the squad over the whole two the two legs. And um, I I saw I saw a team that that finally got the formation. We finally got the the three four three. We finally got players in the right places. We can start putting players in. Like Skip fell in today and was amazing. Yeah, I thought um, Skippy was good. I thought Skippy had a yeah, good Yeah, yeah, but the left side was the shit. I mean, like Perisic, man, what the hell? He's out, out to smoke, man. Like uh um the same shit against Sheffield, man. When you have a cr- when you have the ball come to you and you head it back coach, you're not gonna score fucking three feet from the goal. You head it back across goal, every player knows this. He, he does the same thing, loses us the FA Cup. Does the same thing, knocks us out of the Champions League game. Just knock it back, square to K, and knock it in, man. And, uh, yeah, it's just basic, rudimentary things that 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 are seeping into the squad, seeping into our mentality, and it shows right off to Romero losing his fucking head today, man. It was so painful to watch, man. Yeah, <clears throat> yeah, Romero. Um, look, I was saying it all last season. I'm guessing everybody was saying it last season. There was a red card lunatic. Like um, in there, and it's and I think it's going to happen time and time and, and time again. Sorry, there's somebody else who wants to come in as well. Dunkle Stork, how you doing, buddy? Uh, before I, I'm going to go around everyone. I'm going to come back to Alex first, mate. You were next up on the line. Um, you can run with what Donovan's talking about. Uh, you know, he, he's kind of saying trying to find some positives, trying to find you know the three four three was starting to make it jive a little bit in the, in the last three home games, but last three games, including tonight, hasn't worked. Uh, or you can take it to the Romero side, wherever you want to go with it, buddy. Um, I just... Positives, I think Oliver Skip is a fantastic prospect. I think he's going to... He was by far our best midfielder today. Oh, yeah. Um, yeah, yeah. Hoybier is just not good enough at this level. And I say this as someone I admire his effort. Um, he works hard. He, he always gives 110%, but he's just at this level, he isn't good enough. And I think we saw that this evening. Um, same thing. If you look at some of our players, um, you know the players. Kulusevski seems to have gone off the board. I've no idea what's happened to him. Yeah, last sort of. How many? Know. How many times did it take him? Like four? four was it three or four uh, overhit crosses in the first half? Yeah, I don't, again, I don't know what happened. I don't know if he's just, you know, he he was injured for a, for a fairly long time. Maybe he's just. Still not quite up to his best, but uh, I, def- some... I definitely think he doesn't want to sprint. You can see, yeah. you can see every time he gets the ball, he's got no interest in getting out of second gear because I think he's worried about his hammy. Yeah, yeah. and that's a problem. Yeah. That's a massive problem. If you don't trust your body, he doesn't take on a main anymore. I don't understand what it is. Yeah, 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 yeah. And um, um, yeah, go on, Matt, come on. No, so I mean, that I think our our front three. We love Harry Kane, 
But since he's broken his goal scoring record, it's almost like he said to himself, well, scoring goals just doesn't feel the same anymore. And uh, <laughs> That um, Irish Irish Dave, the Irish Hotspur, who's who's you know, Harry Kane's biggest fan, he's been saying that for a while that he wor- he's worried that, that that Harry's taken his sort of uh, eye off the ball a little bit. Um, fuck if if he if he dries up, but then you know, and the, the well is done. Isn't it? <laughs> he hasn't really been playing very well, to be perfectly honest. Even in oh, the yeah, game, I'm not gonna you, you're never gonna criticize a guy, but why wouldn't you shoot that? Like, like I would have, I would have shot that, but I'm just uh, oh, that, that, that when he head butted, when he when he head butted the floor, trying yeah. to <laughs> <laughs> he's kissing the ground, that? man. <laughs> that was insane. Like that was insane. All right, yeah, look, mate, so much, so many places to go with it. Phil, welcome yeah. to the show as well, buddy. Um, Evening. Hope you're well. Hope you're well. Um, just before we before I come to you, let me just call out a couple of super chats that have popped in from Love's Music. Uh, big up my man. He says uh, I haven't even opened my Spurs Christmas calendar yet. <laughs> I wouldn't bother, buddy. I wouldn't bother. And maybe April Fools. Do it on April the first or something. Um, yeah, it's not worth it. But I appreciate the super chat. And then he comes back in with Conte has ruined these players look a lot of people I'm just, actually, let me just give you an update here on uh, where's the poll the poll is at i asked the question who's responsible for tonight's shit show and we got the players are on 17 percent conte's on 33 percent daniel levy's only getting seven percent and everybody a little slice of pie for everybody is the overwhelming majority on 43 percent from 250 votes we'll see how that continues to develop but yeah, Phil. Take wait. Where do you want to go with it, mate? Like, where's your where's your main frustration tonight? Is it in the tactics? Was it with Romero? Did he? Was it the early yellow cards? Did that like? Did that kind of like? I don't know. Hamstring us a little bit. I mean, it, it's inevitable that he was going to do this at some point. You know, um, it's part of his game, which he needs to cut out. You know, I like the aggression in in Romero, but you do need to sort of nip it in the bud at some point. You know. Um, in the game and be a bit more clever with it, um, and that and that's that's something that Conte or the next manager needs to needs to sort out with him. Um, but there is a there is a great defender in there. He just needs to, you know, um, you know, tune up some some of his uh, some of his game. Um, in regards to the performance, I was so disappointed we didn't go out straight from the off and put it on Milan because they were there for the taking for me um in, in that first half but we didn't seem to seem to just go forward and go at them um and I think that's due to us you know the, the players being such low in confidence um I don't think it's the want of trying it's just they they don't know how to play Conte system they've just they're they're all shot to pieces you know, um, and the longer it goes on, you know, these results, it's just going to affect the players even even more. Um, and we're seeing that. We're seeing to, that. To be, um, to be fair, though, to be fair, though, mate, that's like zero zero, though, right? Like, it's not like we went out there and absolutely got battered three nothing. I think no. the, I think the main part here is that just that moments of concentration, man. At least you remember the Diaz goal that happened, like. 135 minutes ago, 170 minutes ago, like it just laps of concentration, people falling all over. We talk about Romero. He's a great defender for like 60, 70 minutes. I mean, yeah. there's still that 20 minutes like that. He can, I mean, he's not, he's not, we're not going to rip on the guy. Like he's going to be a great player. He's, he's, this is probably a teachable moment for him. He's going to learn from it. But yeah, I mean, like, like Diaz, the guy who's like chicken little, jumps over our three uh, <laughs> best defenders, our new signings, Romero, Emerson, and, and Perisic, and, and mm-hmm. taps the ball home in an empty net. And I mean, like, that's just stuff yeah. you have to eliminate from our game, right? Like, we can't be doing that. We can do that against, like, the likes of Leeds, okay? But when we want to go get silverware against the teams, the best teams in Europe, we're one of the best teams in Italy. Like, come on, we can't be doing that. So I mean, yeah, yeah. I mean, there's something I think it was Mary who brought up about um, the substitution um, when Sanchez come on. I, I I didn't. I just had no idea what Conte was thinking there. You know, you, you keep you keep Kulusevski on, or you bring Dan Juma on for him. You know, to keep keep going for the game. We've got nothing to lose. You just go for it, don't you? It's a knockout. It's not. It, we ain't going for points. You know. You Conte to uh, to go up uh, in the other box. Yeah, to, Sanch- that, It was just a ridiculous sub- substitution for me. Um, the other teams back. Yeah, the only the only player that stood out for me was Skippy had a, a an okay game. 
Um, everyone else on the pitch, absolutely shocking for me. Um, and oh, the, the one player that stood out was Porro when he came on. Pretty good, yeah. Porro came on. He won. He wanted to get the crowd going. He wanted the intensity. You know, he was getting down that wing. He's got, a wonderful, cross on him. He's got, a, wonderful, he's got oh, a wonderful cross on him. The Brilliant. Problem with the, but the problem with our fucking system is when you play a 3-4-3 and the two in the middle are defensive and Hoiberg and Skip don't want to get forward. How many times in that, in, in that in the especially in the first half, but even in the second half as well, both of them were staying in their own half. They were hanging, like, at best, they would move towards the halfway line. You'd whip the ball down the right more than the left-hand side. And then they put the ball in. There was nobody there. No one there. Absolutely yeah. nobody there because Sonny yeah. wasn't busting a lung to get in there. Becky yeah. was the one who was f- further forward because Emerson Royale was, wasn't playing that kind of, you know, h- hug in the offside line. And then yeah. to me, I, w- I want to just quickly pivot before I bring in uh, Dun- Dunkelstorp. Um, I want to ask you guys' opinion on... I think it was Daniel. No, someone someone said, Tyler said it in the Irish Hotspur WhatsApp group. When we bring on Emerson Royale and you play him left wing back, why? Like, keep put Ben Davies out there, shift Romero into the centre. Yeah, and bring and it, play, bring him attacking play Emerson, Royale, play Emerson Royale, or, or play Emerson Royale at right, at right, right side of centre back. Exactly, exactly, exactly. If you take him out of your back four, or go to a back four. Back four, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> back four, bring Dan Juma on a Richarlison, you know, four, and play, two, three, one. play four. Three, three, one. Yeah. yeah. Conte doesn't do that. I don't that, get man. it. That's Conte doesn't know what the four. Conte's got one way of playing. And that's a problem. And I know he's got one way of playing, but we're. Conte. I know that. We've got one way of playing, but. I mean, he needs to change it up in games when we're one nil yeah. down in a knockout. You're getting, getting paid fifteen million pound a year. Yeah. Conte's have a second fucking fit system. Genius. We're not even yeah. using these attacking players that we've got. That we've got in we, the team. We love we, we love all we love all Skippy, but he's no he's no uh, Nico Brella. Okay, no. like, let's throw an extra player in the midfield. Let's stir it up. He's stubborn. I mean, I'm not going to I'm not going to say Davis and Sanchez is a good player. I'm not going to go out here and say he's a bad player, but I mean. I think somebody said it earlier. He is a bad player. Uh, I think somebody said it earlier that he brought he got brought on because he'd rather save face than <laughs> right, go and win a knockout game. game. He'd, he'd he'd rather he'd set his save face. He'd rather not lose the game than go win a fucking knockout game. And uh, sorry, that was I obvious. don't I don't want to offend anybody, but Sanchez is a bad player. I'm sorry, but I can play he better is. than him. I'm four foot eleven. Yeah, yeah. I could play a better. I could play better than him at four yeah. foot eleven. I've never kicked a ball. Like, so honestly. a bad player, a bad player, a bad player with good moments then. Yeah, no. I can't okay. remember a, a like that's a good moment. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not going to say I'm not going to sit here and argue Davison Sanchez's case, but I can sit I can sit here and give moments of like quality of, of Davison Sanchez. He's ice skates. He's Bambi on deer. He's not top four quality for a starter, but he's had moments of quality. He's got he's got pace. I'll so give him that. Ram I mean, I, I've had moments in my life, but it doesn't make me brilliant at it, like, <laughs> the things that I've had moments in my life for, you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, yeah, he yeah. gets paid the big bucks, man. He should be doing his job at the least, at the least, all the money that he gets paid. Like, if he can't be a defender, then what's the point? Like, He's on he 80 grand a week. That's what um, I'm saying. Then, again, again, zero, zero. Again, zero, zero. He did his job. Right? We didn't consider goal. But end of the day, point is we're all frustrated and it was a shit game, man. It was fine. Yeah. See, I, I'm, I'm, I'm Conte. I completely now. I'm completely. I'm, I'm, I'm I, thinking. I, I am as well. I am as well. I, yeah. I, I personally think there needs to be a complete fucking reset of the football. There has to be. Burn, burn, it club, burn it to the ground. There has to be. So what, sell Kane. You're going to sell Kane then and sign and get rid of everyone and just clean well, up. Well, it doesn't have to be like that. that. At some point, they all, at some point, Kane and Sonny and that will all have played their last their last game. So, like, you have to envision a, fo- a future at some point, when, whether it's in three months or three years. At some point, Harry Kane won't be a goal scorer for Tottenham anymore. Yeah. And if you can get a hundred million quid for him in the summer, if it's part of an overall ethos and philosophy change, then you know what? Like, we'd be going, we'd be taking a two two year backward step. But I don't think anything particularly changes with the philosophy when you've still got the same owners in charge anyway. So it's a good sure. one. Sure. Yeah, the, yeah, the only yeah. the only the only slight chance of Kane and Son staying is if Pochettino comes back here. Yeah, that's the only if, way. If there's any yeah. other if there's any other coach, yeah, yeah, I don't yeah. interested to see the odds. <laughs> yeah, the guy from Nottingham <laughs> Forest. Yeah, not going to happen. Go check oh, the odds of Pochettino. <laughs> um, Dun- Dunkle Stalk, sorry mate, you've been waiting patiently, buddy. Um, <laughs> yes. What's going on, my man? Let me know how you're feeling about this uh, about this debacle this evening. I have a fucking headache right now. Uh, <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah. And I'm, 
I'm I'm just in apathy mode, actually. Yeah, give it uh, up. Give it up. I already it. knew after like 20, 25 minutes that we're not gonna score anything. You know, we have zero <laughs> creativity. Zero, not even okay. at our wings, and all all the crosses that comes in hits nobody. It's, it's so it's so difficult to work. Man. It's yeah. terrible. Um, uh, I would actually have have liked to 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 see some uh, a, a midfielder uh, a, like free in the midfield instead of those wing backs. But you know, it's it's never gonna happen. Because they were so good set up against us, uh, because they they sat so low, because they knew that we have no creativity, so so they can just sit sit low, and nothing is going to happen. It's side to side, right? It's yeah. just it's, side, to side. It's side to side. Side to side. It's, it's, it's so it, it's it's so so easy to cut that out, you know. Yeah. When when you've got yeah. someone in the hole in that ten roll to create, you know. Teams can't deal with that sort of, you know, that sort of tactic, you know, unless you have yeah. someone. This is, this is why I asked the question in my in my video today. I'm against mm. it, right? But I've got to put it out there. If Pochettino does come back, we, we you need to have someone who can play in the 10 role. But James yeah. Madison is going to cost you 70, 80, 90 million quid, right? Because he's A, the English tax. And B, mm. if you lose Harry Kane, we're short on numbers anyway. So especially English numbers. So you're going to need to have someone come in who's you know who's going to be english so you, they'll know that and and they'll they'll pay and they'll they'll, they'll price accordingly or james <laughs> will prowse same problem so my yeah, question if you do that what about alex other, scott the, well, alex scott is more of a winger isn't he he's, he's a really good, i love yeah, alex he's scott. a, he's a winger, i think he's a number 10 no he's a really really good player though yeah really good player but he's only been tested at, at what is it are they division one or are they championship bristol city i'm not even sure what i think they're, they're go on Charlie. what about, what about the Matthias Jensen at Brentford. He's he's not English, but maybe. Where is he? Who? Ma Matthias Jensen. Yeah, I like that Wales guy from Brent, uh, not Brentford. Brentford. Um, what is Jensen? What is his name? Uh, Patrick Moore. Brentford. Brentford. Oh, Brentford. Yeah. Brentford. Oh, Matthias Jensen. Oh, yeah, he's a good player. Yeah, he's a good similar player. sort of type to um, to Ericsson a little bit. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. He's, he's very good. Player. Player. Yeah. But to, to me, like, <laughs> he's you're going to spend money. <laughs> He's actually very really great in the press because Ericsson is is not so good in the press anymore. He's he's getting too old. But uh, Matthias Jensen, I'm I'm also from Denmark, so you know, yeah, yeah, my guys. <laughs> yeah. Stephanie Stark here from Porto. No, nice. yeah, northern. Quite, nice. quite good. To me, yeah. I, I wonder whether or not, like you know, if you're going to go and spend, because you you're right, like we we absolutely need someone who can do something creative. We absolutely do. <laughs> But to me, I don't I don't know how much because I don't think we're going to finish top four. I think we're going to finish fifth or sixth possibly at this stage, right? And at this stage, and if we do, if we do, then I don't know how much money is going to be available. And there's Tottenham need to go and spend a lot of money in the summer on defenders and a goalkeeper as well. So I just that's why I put the question out there earlier whether or not is there any chance that Lo Celso or Endon Bele can get a second crack oh, at the whip? You know, I, I think it's oh going to happen. God. If uh, you if think it will happen, yeah. Dunks, yeah? Yeah, you okay. Don't to... <laughs> <laughs> Los no, <laughs> please no. I don't know. I don't listen. I, I don't want them to. I want them to find oh, three hundred million quid or whatever and go and fix everything. But oh, my God. well, this is the, this is the state we're in at the moment, it, guys. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. We're we're exactly, at such exactly. a low. We have to bring these loan players back that didn't do a job for us, and they were absolutely shocking. You know, so we're, we're, we're talking about these players coming into our club, you know, where, you know, for instance, Endon Bailey, he, he walked off the pitch against Morecambe, you know, and the crowd were booing him and we're, we're talking about him coming back. There's, yeah. there's no chance for these players. We need to get them gone, get some sort of, you know, figure for them, you know, and uh, get get better players in, you know, that want to play for this club. Yes, but, but nobody wants to buy him. There's no well. The, 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 wants this them, is man. the thing, you know. There's no money in Europe, is there? At the minute, you know, you know, the only the only way to get some sort of fee for them is is to loan them out and get a loan, <laughs> and that's it. Oh. You know, do, do you mind? We loan too mind? many players out anyway. I mean, we have to fucking cancel Dorothy's contract because we loan too many players out. <laughs> <laughs> 
Yeah. With some of no, these what, did you, what, did, what, what did you say, Shawnee? You said something positive. You said something like, what's the best case scenario that comes out? I'm not going to be Conte out, but I think going forward here, we have to rip it up, okay? And okay. you said something about a scenario where you have a new manager come in and you galvanize the team and we somehow galvanize and top four becomes this amazing scenario on a pedestal where we're this new group of players and we have to make top four of this group. Yeah, because yeah, yeah. I think that's that, that that's the only way go, that that's the only way going forward. Because we've seen Liverpool. I mean, what the hell? They just destroyed Man United. Like that was yeah. crazy. Um, I didn't think. I thought they were done for. It. I could see Chelsea taking this momentum from Dortmund. Che- going Chelsea, going Chelsea, are start, Chelsea are starting to click a little bit, aren't they? And I'm, I'm, I'm not saying they're top four contenders. I'm not saying Liverpool are top four contenders. I'm just saying the heat below us are all of a sudden a lot hotter. Yeah, so we're gonna have to yeah, get yeah, together, yeah. man. Yeah. And uh, Liverpool are only three points behind us, I think. At, at the moment, the hell, if, if we, we've got Nottingham Forest on Saturday, and I don't think we're going to win with these sorts of performances. No. I, I'll take Forest, a draw right now. <laughs> I, I, and that's an that. absolute shambles, man. And, and if that if that is the case, then this guy who's talking right now, I can't hear what he's saying, but he's got to go. And you're right, Donovan, the only way that we can salvage the season, and, and it will lift spirits a little bit. I think a lot of people... Look, a lot of people after tonight that weren't Conte out are now Conte out. I can see it from the from the comments. Everyone in the comments, there's not a single person in the comments that I can see that's saying that's defending Antonio Conte, which is it's a shame because he never got the chance he wanted. Right? He wanted the Stony, and he you know, he got nothing. He wanted a player, and he got nothing. He wanted this, he wanted got nothing. And again, it just comes down to the ownership, right? And same old, different tale. I mean, let's see what the next one brings, right? Like, yeah, <laughs> and you go a bit too uh, quick to criticize Levy. I mean, if Antonio Conte wasn't happy. With the recruitment, why did he say that he was happy? I mean, aside, he said he was happy both January mm. last year and and in the summer. And uh, <sighs> you know, he's got he's failed to get a tune out of half the players that he signed. Okay, one hundred percent. Yeah, you can give pe- him a pe- people have people that... have narratives and agendas there, mate. You know, people people yeah. are so, like people, most people that are Conte in are Levy out, yeah. and it's not because they really want to be Conte in. It's because they're they're, they're Levy out like hat on means that they need to allocate as much responsibility for everything that's wrong in that direction. And, and as a consequence, then they don't want to allocate any real blame or they, at least they haven't until tonight. I'm seeing a lot of people that I know are Levy out. I think now you're going to see a lot of people that are saying more of like the Levy out, Conte out, players out, blow the whole fucking thing up. I think that's now going to be the, the great reset is now well, going to be the, uh, the kind of common well, thing. Where I've, are we? I've got to go because I've got to go to bed because my children up early in the morning for school and one of them's sick at the minute. So I've, I've not had a very good night's sleep. But what I will say, I'm going to leave it on a controversial one. I think we should have Mason for the rest of the season and all the like youngsters. Just bring all the youngsters on. Sod <laughs> all of them. Just bring all the youngsters on. And let them all just rot. Like, that's how I feel about that team right now. None of them deserve to be on that pitch um, for the next game. Just bring on all the bloody youngsters no. and skip. <laughs> skip to that. that. That won't go down very well, Brian. I'm going to be even Mason. more controversial. That'll be I'd even give, more controversial. I'd give Mason the job. No! Oh, come on! Oh, oh wow. <laughs> <laughs> no. I think he shrugged. You see him what? shrugging today with the game? Just bring him wings back. He knows, he knows the club inside out. He knows the culture. Yeah, and he's he going to keep the players who are any good. And that's, the problem. that's the problem. That's the problem. We don't, uh, yes, we don't, we don't want someone yes. who knows the culture. We want someone to come in and change the culture. Yeah, but we've, we've tried that Jesus. with from Reno. We've tried it with Conte. You can't change the, the club culture. I just want to see some bloody football. I don't yes. care. I don't care that's if we lose a couple of games choice. three two. I don't care if we get beaten in some belters three two or four three. But I want to see. I lose the Champions League final. What, what's that? Sorry. I lose the Champions League final. Yeah, I, I, all the Champions League. Well, at least get what, there. Yeah, I'll get there, but, but I don't even necessarily like. Like, what if you, if you were a Leeds United fan last season? Like, you would have enjoyed it. You might have struggled, but you would have enjoyed the football, being able to beat some of the good teams. You never, you never go down without a fight. Playing attractive football. Yeah, you know, it's in Brighton. Brighton this year, amazing to watch and getting the results. They're they're well ahead of their curve. For me, I I just want to see good football first. And everything yeah. else can build from there. Sorry, Dunks, you, you want to say something? You not even think about trophies right now. Yeah. You have zero chance of getting any mm. trophies. Zero. Yeah. Well, anyway, so this I'm going to say... Or, or next year or the next year after that, zero chance. I've got nearly good enough. Yeah, I'm going to say good night, everybody. Sorry, so yeah. I'll, 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 put your link, I'll put your link in the uh, chat, guys. If anyone, if anyone uh, can uh, head over to Spurs Between the Lines and help me out. Uh, Thank you very much.
Yeah, we'll see you, see you next time. Yeah, okay, yeah. yeah I'll speak to you guys soon. Bye. Bye. Yeah. It should be all about having a plan first because you can't win a trophy. Unless it's, it's a oh, trophy. Yeah. If you don't I have agree. A plan in your club. And you're going but I, I also want to. I, I want to know what kind of club we are. I want to know what yeah. what kind of club are we? Are we a, a club that's going to win trophies, or are we a project club that's going to be like Brighton? Are we that kind of club? Because we're still having. Let's fucking leave it. Make a video about okay. This is the type of club we are. This is how the future is going to be, and I'd be okay with that. Yes, but, uh, when we when we. Higher managers like Mourinho and Conte, I expect us to win because they're winners. Mm. Yeah, but if we get someone like uh, okay, Thomas Franken, then I expect us to be a project club for the future. You know? The thing is, I think the fan, I think the fan base is so confused at the minute. You know, with you know when Conte was appointed, I I I was under the impression that they were going to go for this and, and, and go for trophies and spend the money with a now manager, you know, with a winning manager. You know, we have we haven't done that at all. You know? Um and now I'm even more confused because Conte hasn't signed a contract. It doesn't look like he's gonna be here. And, you know, with Levy doing his things, you know, on the business side, you know, with this F one thing and whatnot. You know, I, I'm I'm really confused in where this club, which road it's going down. You know, and I think that a lot of a lot of fans are, are just so frustrated with how this club is run. And um, you know, I think we just need to rip it all all up and start again, in my opinion, and just get get a project manager in, or or, or in my opinion, Potch. Yeah, for, for me, I just feel like with Poch, like if Poch comes in and wants to play a back four, here's the here's the counter argument. I want Poch, I want Poch to come back at some point. Yeah. But I just feel like if he wants to come and play a back four, I worry, I worry a little bit around whether or not you've got the square pegs and round holes thing. Because yeah. you're gonna have Destiny Udoji coming in next season, he plays as a left wing back, and you're gonna have Pedro Porro plays as a right wing back. Like yes, he's good defensively. Udoji. Udoji, 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 is he? I don't see I don't watch enough of um of uh, yes. Udinese to, to know, and, and he tracks back. Okay, and he he knows how to be de defensive. I'm a, and actually, it's actually only a Pedro Poro and of course Perisic that I'm. Well, Perisic, I, I I don't want Perisic to even get a sniff yeah. next season. Like I, he has to go. Like I don't, like, I don't know. Does he, does he have another year on his contract? He's a, yeah, he's a, oh, yeah. a. Oh my god! The other players in our team, it's it's like he gets the ball and he just look at the ball and. Stands like this, and he doesn't. He's, look so, slow. he's so slow. He makes bad decisions yeah. every time he gets the ball. He's, 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 he's got this kind of. I used when I first saw him at the start of the season, I thought it was like an interesting asset where mm. he like he has this cadence to his step overs that mm. seem to be so consistent that it's very tricky to be able to see when he's going to drop like drop his shoulder to the right or to the left. But actually, yeah. over the last like three months, I've realized it's not it's not a cool thing to have a cadence. When ultimately you do the same thing every time with it, which yeah. is drop left and then turn around and then pass it back to the guy to, to Ben Davies or to Longley, whoever's yeah. inside of you. You know, he's he's. Um, I think I mean, he, doesn't, he doesn't offer Sean, anything. He doesn't offer anything. Sean, Sean, you, you know, when he when he was playing in the Italian league, it's much slower. It's a yeah. slower paced game, um, and it's probably suited him more um, playing as a left wing back because. He weren't tracking back as much. He wasn't wasn't fast paced. But as soon as you come to the Premier League, it's a totally different different game, yeah. you know. And it, it's so so fast paced. He has to. Well, you know, well, has to well, track was that he had a league? Was it and the he league or the cup where he had a where yeah, team but, split it wide open and he couldn't even hit the net? But he missed the net. He hit the goalie. He had like twenty years to run onto the ball and die. like you said, yeah. man, it's it's a it, different league. He's old. Yeah. He's a dinosaur. Time to let him go, man. And yeah. I would actually yeah. take Regulon. I would take Regulon back next year over him. If yeah. he can still get him back. Yeah. Is he on is he we still got him or <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, he's on, loan. he's on loan. He's on loan. Regulon. Yeah. yeah. Well, but listen, Reg Regulon yeah. would work in a potch system. Regulon yeah. would work in a potch system. Yeah. Like Conte yeah. Conte and him never worked out. Conte like from the from the very moment that Conte arrived last season, you could see that there was some like yeah. um relationship issues, whether they had an argument or whether Conte didn't like his socialising, his social life, because I think Regulon's a bit of a party boy, isn't he? So, I don't mm. know, but... 
Um, Maybe just build. Yeah, no, I'd, I'd swap. I'd swap. Uh, bring, I'd, I'd bring in regular. I'd bring. Uh, I, I bring think regular that the problem with the thing is atrocious. Yeah, Regulons. Yeah, yeah. I mean, he's really, really a dreadful fullback. I can't see we, him. We haven't got. We haven't got a single player though on the on the wide, on the wide who can either. defend and can attack. I know. Like Emerson today tried his heart out, but he still gets forward. And then ultimately doesn't do much with it, right? He hasn't got the ability to whip balls in as much as I, I'm. I mean, I've been impressed with him recently, but he still hasn't got that. Yes, and if he's really going forward, you know? still, I don't think I'll ever have that really yeah, yeah. I mean, you know, he's 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 a safe player. You know, like the most he keeps it simple. Sure. Keeps it simple. He's a he's a good defender. You know, um, he's athletic, but in the final third, he doesn't cut it. You know. And it doesn't. It doesn't even like like if if Decky's if you, if you know what Decky's going to do and everybody knows what Decky's going to do. He gets the ball and then tries to like hold the guy off and then gets the ball onto his left foot to try and whip it in. Right, this does the same same thing every time. Yeah, when he receives the ball, why doesn't Emerson overlap him down the side to to give him an option? He ain't got the confidence. He ain't got the confidence to to whip a ball in. It, yeah, make, got... it makes it so fucking predictable. If you're if you're a defensive yeah, team and you've got a bank a bank of five, then yeah. you know you, you, you just you, you can show Decky on the inside because he's going to whip the ball into the back post and there's never anyone fucking there. But if yeah. you were if, if Emerson was to go down the byline, you could thread the ball past and then then maybe at least Hoiberg or Skippy or someone. But I saw I saw glimpses I saw glimpses of that when Poro come on. You know he was whipping balls in. Yeah, he was Poro was doing ball. it. Yeah, 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 Poro was doing it. Yeah. 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 You know, and Kulu was, you know, fading and then, you know, putting it into Poro for him to cross it in. You know, there was numerous times where that happened in the second half, you know, and I think that's that's a positive going forward. But there's so many disappointments tonight, man. It's it's just the, the whole team. <sighs> It was just shocking. Fraser Forrester right? had a good game. Fraser Forrester had an amazing yeah, game. Yeah, Fraser Forrester was good again. Yeah, he was good again. Yeah, he was one of the only yeah. ones. You know, I don't even really remember Longley doing much, but like, like like you say, Donovan, we did keep a clean sheet. Although it could have, could have, it didn't. You know, it wasn't. There was they had they had two or three good chances to score. I feel sorry for Brains. He spent all week trying to offload his ticket. <laughs> <laughs> couldn't, couldn't find a buyer for it, and then ended up going and left after eighty. <laughs> sorry, man. Sorry to hear that. I want to say something about Kerasi. I I actually think that he was quite good uh, in the first like. Uh, Seven matches, eight matches maybe, but then he was just found out after that because he only had like one or two tricks and everybody found out what he did and then everybody knew what he did and mm. nothing yeah. really worked yeah. after yeah. that. My, my brother-in-law's late father has a, had a rule and he said, with any player, wait till they've played everyone twice. Then you can judge if they're any good. Yeah, 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 yeah. And, uh, <laughs> oh, yeah. yeah, that's cool. Yeah, I don't know. I think I think that there's uh, there's not really too much more to say. Like we could be here for three hours saying the same thing, or we could wrap it up in five minutes. I think we all feel the same way, right? Like we've got absolutely no no uh, confidence in our team. I don't think anyone's got any confidence in our manager. I think most people know that the ownership are not, you know, they're not going to ever take on that necessary additional risk to be able to really. Put the boat out, push the boat out, and see what can, see what we can do with significant backing. And it just all, always feels the same, doesn't it? Like I think the comment uh, Jermaine Jennis made a point tonight, and it um, in the commentary, and he said Tottenham feel like they do a lot of build up play and then get into good areas and then never really take it to that next step. And he was talking about the game specifically, like never really go for it when they get into the final final bit. And it also feels a bit like of an an an, an, an analogy. For Tottenham, just generally, like we we we'll always we we'll always throw enough money at it to get to top four, but we'll never really kick on to the next level because, you know, the, I guess the risk reward from a monetary perspective from our owners isn't really there to make you know to to, to make it make sense. But yeah, yeah. I mean, look, I, I think I, I'm with you. I'm with whoever whoever of you who wants to see basically a complete complete upheaval. Yeah, you know? I, I I just want to see some creativity and some great defending now. I want to I because Kane have been the only create creative player for how many years now? Yeah, yeah. I think you're gonna be waiting for next years. season, or uh, you know, even further than that for, for great defending and creativity until we get different players in this club. 
Yeah, yeah good players. Yeah. And, and I think also a different manager because we don't go out trying to, you know, this game we needed to score twice. And really until the last 25 minutes, we weren't really making all that much of an effort at times in the first half. But there's no, I don't know whether it's a lack of pace in the side, but we play the game like it's a training ground. We had one. We had one. We had had one shot on target. Yeah, one shot on target, (laughs) right? And that was that was that was the ninetieth minute with Kane. No, no, there was uh, there was there was Hoiberg uh, Hoiberg shot as well. Oh yeah. yeah. Okay, two. I can't remember any of it. That's a hundred percent increase. You can't, can't. No, there there was the other one that was, uh, there was a deflection that Kane hit that that then almost caught the goalkeeper out in the first half. But yeah, it's absolutely. It's absolutely. I'm not. I'm not not, not trying to dislike to disagree with your point. The point is that we were absolutely shocking. Nexus here with the super chat. Big up Nexus. Hope you're well, my man. He says uh, Conte clearly doesn't want to be here enough. He's saying make the change now. If we're all of the opinion that Conte won't be here next season, is there any one of you guys that um, that thinks or that would be happy for him to stay? You know, is there some benefit in him staying until the end of the season, or are we all of like just fucking nuke this shit and get it over and done with? Pull the band aid off. I think it yeah, depends if we're going to go in for Poch or Tuchel or someone who's available to start tomorrow. Then you know, pull the trigger. Yeah, and, yeah. and get rid now. But if if there's you know if if we've got our eye on someone else. Who can't come to the club? Yeah, that's... You know, in the next week or two, then um, might as well wait. We might as well yeah, wait because yeah. we're going to have to pay Conte anyway. The question is, if 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 Levy wants to to put the top four in jeopardy for for you know just throwing a new manager in and hope for the best that it can, it can give some kind of uplift for the rest of the season, or he wants to spare the money, the that is second Conte and and just want to ride it out. That's the question. Yeah. But it's not yeah. going to be pretty to watch, I think, for the rest of the season. No. I'm going to follow him for now for the rest of the season because that's my... <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah no, I'm still going to get up for it. I'm going, I'm going to the Forest game on Saturday, right? So, yeah, I'm going to go myself. Oh, Jesus. Uh, yeah, like, you know, so I'm still going to... I, I don't know how, how you can do that. I don't understand how you can yeah, do that. Yeah, well, look, if I... I'm sorry, Sean. If I, I'm very sorry for you. Yeah, yeah, I was yeah. saying if I'd known if I'd known three weeks ago when I put the ticket <laughs> that what would have happened in the last two weeks, I was expecting us to still be in the Champions League, still be in the FA Cup, and still be in the top four race. But listen, I, I, how do but, you ex- ex- expect people to react in the weekend against Nottingham Forest? You know, uh, how do I expect how do, how do you expect Tottenham to react? The players or the fans? Both. Just, just both. I think the fan. I think. I mean, I, I can only imagine. Like, look, my channel, I, I don't really do too many live streams on this channel these days. But when I did last season, it was always quite like a happy clapper-ish kind of place. Most people in here were quite like positive generally. Mm. But I can only imagine what's going to be said on some other channels that are usually quite, you know, like <laughs> that are quite toxic and uh, like negative kind of generally. Like, there's, there's some channels out there that right now, if, if, I don't know if they're streaming or not, but if whenever they're next streaming, it will be like... Uh, you know the, the the fury of a thousand suns will be uh, will be launching for but like because I can even see it on my in my in my comments everyone's fed up everyone's over it you know everyone's over it so yeah look I I think it's gonna be I think we're gonna just fucking like limp our way to the end of the season you know unless something magical happens but the only way that happens is with a is with a big catalyst change a big like a like a title change that that needs to happen and the only thing that's gonna happen there is a managerial switch. Yeah. Well, we need. We, well, we should be going for top four. We can't be giving up on that. You know, we're in. We're in the position at the minute in top four. You know, whether that's going to make a difference at the end of the season, and Levy's going to put his hand in his pocket and get these players that we want. But I don't know. But we still need that for for the revenue, for the money. You know, for this that's club. The thing. We do need top four for the money. We 100 percent we do because that's you know, the, that's where the money's going to come from. Tragic, so. You know. Yeah, and you don't get uh, as much for being in the Europa League or Conference League, or even even being seventh or eighth. You, you know, get about, you get if, if, even if you were to go on and win the Conference League, I think all you make is about twenty million. Yeah, whereas you get about sixty for just for getting through the group stages of the Champions exactly. League. Right? So, wow. Astronomical, isn't it? You know. Yeah. Well, you know, needs so to love you. You. Last question of the night, then, guys, for the five or for the four of you, if it's not Conte, in all, I'll give you three three manager picks. 
in order of preference? Go from third third to second to top. I'll start with you, Dan. Um, to be fair, I would like Thomas Frank, actually. In He's your number uh, one pick, is he? Yeah, over Poch. Over I Poch. I just, think Poch. I just think Poch is that, you know, is that um, coming back. I just think he's not right for me. It's going to be the same again. Yeah. And uh, and that, to be fair, third Tuchel. Thomas Frank, Thomas. top, Poch second, Thomas Tuchel third. Okay. Yeah. I don't mind any of those. Uh, Alex? Yeah, so I'd say probably the same three, but in a slightly different order. I'd probably put Tuchel top. Uh, Thomas really? Four, okay. Thomas Frank second and Pochettino third. I don't wow. really want to see Pochettino come back. I think... Yeah, um, yeah. It's a waste of time. I think he's, have, yeah. I think he's yeah. got a really lousy... Like, for all his good qualities, the, the one thing he's he's really screwed us with is his dreadful judgment in the transfer market. And I can just see, especially if Paratici is, you know, going to be banned from football, I can just see an accident waiting to happen. And we're going to be lumbered with a, you know, with a squad full of Sanchez's and, and Endon Bellez and the Celsos if we go back for Pochettino. So oh my God. Yeah. I was took her, I think, you know, I actually wanted him as manager when Pochettino first took over. Gotcha. I think yeah, I wanted to actually Thomas Tuchel way back as well. I think um, he's been a little bit of a little bit of spite, a little bit of fight. He's a little nasty little git, isn't he? You know, yeah. and uh, you know, I, skeleton listen. looking. Sure I know, I'm, I'm, not, I'm, not, I'm not that. Yeah, but I'm, I'm not that in favour of too short football either. Like he doesn't play, doesn't play amazing football. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I mean, yeah. this is the uh, this is the. I don't know who's linking us with Steve Cooper. I think someone's been. Yeah. Oh my god! <laughs> yeah, just, that yeah, is just one, one day he might he might end up being a like a top six manager, but I don't think we want to be the one that we experiment with that. Jesus! Right? I mean, come on, <laughs> Phil. Who's your uh, who's your top choice? And then who, who's your sort of second and third fiddle? Um, it would have to be Poch number one for me, and then uh, Gallardo um, from River Plate. Um, you know, someone unknown, someone with you know, he's getting very high praise at the minute, you know, in, in football, yeah, um, with his ideas and attacking football. So he'd be num number two choice, and yeah, then apparently he plays, plays amazing football, right? Yeah, new, whole, new, whole new kind of like just theory. fresh ideas. So, yeah, you know, yeah, yeah. A, a manager that's that's new that comes into the Premier League, Look, you know, there's like the Deserbies and, and, and managers like that. that People didn't even know about, it and they're they're hitting it off, you know. Um, so he'd be my number two, and then I'd say Deserby number three as a project manager. I don't mind Deserby either, but again, don't know if uh, a little bit too early for him. I think a little Just bit too early him. as well. Potentially. Yeah, that's why that's why he'd be number three choice. Really, but Poch and Gallardo, are my my top. I'd, my I'd be, I'd, I'd probably be the most excited about Gallardo. Because yeah. it's like, oh, fucking hell, what are we going to do with this one? No one knows. No one yeah. knows. Yeah, yeah. Because <laughs> who really watches Argentinian football? And there's a few people out there that are like, oh, you've got to get Galado. He's, he's, he's lifting trophies galore. He's he's the my number one choice. And yeah, yeah. people are like, how much football have you really seen of him? <laughs> Who's watching <laughs> River Plate on a, on a Friday night or whatever? It, whatever I'm just it. hearing, you know, a lot of people I'm hearing the good things about him. You know, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I agree. A lot. a lot of people are saying the same. Yeah, yeah. yeah hear it. Uh, Dunks, who's your uh, your three, mate? I will say Thomas Frank, the top, my man. <laughs> uh, and then I will say, uh, what's that manager's name from uh, Wolverhampton? The old Sevilla. Oh, uh, uh, I love Tegi. Yeah, yeah. I really like him. Yeah. Actually. Yep. Uh, so him number two and then Pudge number three, I I I think I just want some four in the back football now. Yeah, four at the it's back. About, it's it's about time. But I want some proper centre backs before we do it because I'm, yeah, yeah. Uh, I, I I don't think we can do it for the rest of the season because it's just so terrible down there at centre back. So I don't yeah, dying. Know. But that was the that was the statement that Levy come out with, wasn't it? We play attractive football, attacking style, you know. And we, uh, I'm yet to see that with Conte at the minute. You know, we did that with Poch, but you know, we we had a totally different team then. You know, with really? the likes of Ericsson, Dembele in midfield. You know, you know, you know the back four that we had. 
you know, it's you totally different to me. To play tank football, you know, you can't play tank football without creativity. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we need so we, we need we need like sixteen new players to uh, to be able to really yeah, shake everything I mean, up here. Yeah, but, yeah. for me, no, I'd go true. for uh, I'd like yeah. I think Gallard. I mean, listen, I I don't really know too much about him. I know he's won a lot of trophies, and I know that everyone's talking about him. But I like I, I like the idea of a manager that's coming in who's going to play some new style of football, like in reinvent the wheel. I'd be really excited about that, but I don't think it's going to happen. It's pundits as well, though, Sean, that are saying that you know. Giving him high praise. No, I, I get it. No, I, I, I'm just saying. I personally haven't seen his football that. Much, yeah, yeah, yeah. If, if everyone thinks this guy is, uh, you know, he's like the Elon Musk of football, creating new, <laughs> creating new systems and all that stuff, then, uh, then I'm, um, I'm all for it. And then number two would be Poch, I think. And then number three. I'd probably go for Deserby as well. Orin, mate, listen, I know I can see you in the background, bro, but we're literally just about to, uh, we're wrapping up right this second, my man. So, um, like, I'll come on, come again next time, okay, mate. Um, guys, yeah, I'm going to wrap it up because I've got to get up early from work tomorrow morning as well. And uh, listen, I want to say thank you to all of you for coming on. I want to say a big shout out to uh, Brad, ha uh, Brad Hares and Donovan. Donovan, thanks for coming on, mate. Um, I know you know you dropped off to Love's Music for the super chats and to Nexus as well, and to all the guys who jumped on in the comment section. Awesome to see you uh, so briefly after the game. Sorry it was a bad uh, performance. Sorry it was a terrible night for Tottenham Hotspur. But that's what Come on, you come to yes, expect. Yes. Um, I'll be out yes. tomorrow morning with Bugsy for a live, for, a, for not for a live one, for a walk along. And uh, I need we'll, some therapy, man. What's, what's that? Some therapy? Yeah, we'll get some therapy some going. Therapy. We'll, we'll do this, we'll do another another live stream maybe later on this week, guys. Thanks again for all of you, Alex. Great to meet you, Dunks. Great yeah, to nice meet you. you. Thank you. Daniel, Phil, always good to see you, my my boys, and uh, yeah. see you guys to, uh, tomorrow on the uh, the Tottenham walks. Take care, guys. Good night, guys. Yeah. Good night. Cheer up. Cheer up.